It's really critical to have attorneys in the private bar step up to support civil legal services providers and the work that we do for our client communities. And Andrew really represents those private attorneys that are out there, they're doing the good work in their own firms, but they're also committing to ensure that our low-income clients have access to legal assistance. Andrew was a large part of the partnership campaign that established the Teleska Center for Justice, which brought together the uh, Monroe County Bar Association, Legal Assistance of Western New York, Legal Aid of Rochester, Just Cause, and Empire Justice Center into one building with shared reception. We're also really appreciative of uh, the role that Andrew played as the president of the New York State Bar Association. That was during COVID. Andrew represented Rochester and Monroe County during that difficult time. The Bar Association is just such a force in our community and really supporting civil legal services providers. I'm really proud to have the opportunity to honor Andrew for his work. I grew up in the Hudson Valley in Kingston, New York and went to Syracuse University undergrad, went to Michigan Law School. From there, I went to New York City to work with Nixon Hargrave, Devin and Doyle, now Nixon Peabody. And from there, I went to Rochester for a period of time. There was a recognition back in the 70s of the importance of a justice system that addressed the needs of all citizens. Civil legal services over the years has done a tremendous job of helping to fill the void, the void of the underserved. Now it's up to attorneys like me in private practice and bar associations as well to do all that we can to supplement the good work of civil legal services. And I believe that with that collaborative effort, we can go a long way to meeting the needs of the underserved. I'm very proud of the Teleska Center for Justice in Rochester. For the first time, it brought together civil legal services agencies, it brought together the Monroe County Bar Association and the Monroe County Foundation under one roof. It was a collaborative effort. As a member of the legal profession, I have a profound interest in a system of justice. You can't talk about justice without filling the void. Empire Justice has done that tremendously well over the years. It has not only represented individuals in individual cases, but it's also taken on a bigger role advocating with state legislators, the governor's office, to bring about change that would impact a larger component of our society. Being recognized by the Empire Justice Center is, is a tremendous honor. I'm humbled by it. I don't know if I'm quite worthy of it. Uh, so I will take this award as an indication of what is uh, yet to be done by me to show my appreciation and worthiness of the award.